This is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solution Specialist with ATG USA. We're back for another technical talk video in my series covering the different tools in the Autodesk Build module. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the RFIs section within Autodesk Build. So the first thing we'll need to do is get logged into the ACC website and select the appropriate build project that we're going to be working in. Then we're going to select the RFIs area here on the left hand side of the screen. When we get into the RFIs area, you'll see that this is just our, our master area for managing RFIs on our project. Now this is a fairly new project, so we don't have a very large number of RFIs that have been created yet. But as you can see here, just from within the RFIs area, we have a lot of information that we can take in just from the main screen area. We have the ability to create a new RFI from this area. But we also have the ability to create RFIs as references within issues as well. Um, we can see here that we have our RFI status, ID numbers, and titles. Also, we can see who is the responsible person with ball in court waiting for uh, their move uh, to progress the RFI through the process. We can see the due date associated with the RFI if that's been input, as well as any of the location data, uh, potential cost or schedule impact, and we can see the number of references into each RFI. We also have the ability to see if, the, uh, if each RFI has a specific priority set, whether that's high, normal, or low. Um, we can see disciplines that the RFI is associated with, and also the category our RFI is associated with, as well as possibility of adding external ID numbers and seeing who the RFI was created by, any comments that may have been added or who added comments, and also you can see the date in which the RFIs was created upon. So once we're in our RFIs, we also had the ability to export our RFIs either as a PDF or a, an XLS spreadsheet. We also have the ability to sort and filter our RFIs. We can do that based on the status of the RFI, who the um, particular ball and court team member is that is the next person responsible for taking action on the RFI. We can sort and filter by due dates. If this uh, RFI has cost or schedule impact, priority level, we can sort by specific disciplines, categories, or even who the RFIs were created by or the dates they were created on. And if after we have applied any of these filters, we could then potentially export based on the filtered selection just to get the RFI information that we need here. When we go into an RFI, a specific RFI, we're going to see that this is somewhat of a dashboard overview of the RFI and the steps that have been taken and where it's at in the current process. We can see in this particular case here that we have this RFI that's been submitted and it's been reviewed and it appears that it's been approved. Um, so at this point we can close and distribute this particular RFI. We can see the official response area for the RFI as well as the general information related to our RFI. We can see if there was the RFI question, what the suggested answer may have been, we can also see the status of the RFI, who is the current ball and court holder, due date, location, also if there are any co-reviewers, cost impact or schedule impact, you can see that here in the general information as well. Down in the additional information is where we can see the priority set, um, the um, impact of discipline, as well as the category that this RFI was associated with. Also, we'll see the external ID if we input that, or we can add any watchers to the RFI itself. We also here can see the any references that have been associated with this RFI. So as you can see here, this particular RFI was created from an issue that we already had. So again, we were able to reference from the issue to the RFI. It created this RFI that we're working on now. And you can see that this RFI has also been referenced into a PCO that is available in the cost module for us. Over here on the right hand side, we can see our full activity log for the RFI from the date in which it was first created all the way into today's current date. So again, we can see every step along the RFI process for this individual RFI. Now that this RFI is answered and approved, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to elect to close and distribute this RFI. If we have any watchers on this RFI, we have the ability to or if we need to add watchers to this RFI, I should say, we can add them here at this point. 
and then we can say that we want to close the RFI if we have no comments to add as well. So we're going to go ahead and close that RFI out. You can see that this one now is listed as closed and distributed as approved. And when we go back to our RFI list, this RFI has now moved into the closed status. So as we jump into our next RFI, we can see that this RFI has been submitted and it's currently in review. So this would need to be reviewed by myself and I can go in and review the RFI, potentially add any additional information and then submit the official response. But again, as you can see, we can, we can clearly monitor what stage or what step within the RFI process we're currently in when we select the individual RFIs themselves. So that was a high level overview of our RFIs area within the Autodesk Build module. I certainly appreciate you joining me for our video today and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for your time. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel. 